day at the fair. The heyday of the New York World's Fair Pavilion has been long swept away, but the relics still remain. Decades of neglect have left the iconic site of the 1964 World's Fair unsafe for public viewing. A modern ruin, but one group is trying to change that. The paint project started in 2009. I says, I have this dream of bringing this pavilion back. I think I can make a difference. I went to the Parks Commission, Estelle Cooper, and she says, what do you mean, John? I says, I'd like to just paint the outside of the building with the red and white stripes. So she says, all right, go ahead. Well, the last time that this pavilion was open to the public was actually in 1964, 1965. During the fair, well, this was called the Tent of Tomorrow. You had bands playing. Uh, schools came in, marching bands. In these little buildings here was an art, was an art display. Why everybody came into this pavilion, basically, was to see this map, the Texaco map. And it was the, it was the map of New York State. My connection is, in 1964, I worked at the World's Fair. I worked at the British Lion Pub, it was one of the restaurants. And in 1965, my band played here. I was the drummer, it was great. It's a great time of your life, and it's beautiful, and the, the whole fair was something uh, mystical, magical. And it always stayed in me. It was always part of me. Many people my age, if they're in the technology field and they lived in this area, they probably were inspired. Between the fair and Star Trek, I think that pretty much did me in for the sciences. I believe my parents enjoyed it very much because they liked the push-button phones and the microwaves. The time capsules uh, were sponsored by Westinghouse for both fairs, the 3940 and the 6465 World's Fair. Um, a lot of different items were placed in there. So they're slated to be opened in 5,000 years. Uh, so we won't be finding out <laughs> how exciting that is. After being dormant for decades, the New York World's Fair Pavilion will be open for one day on April 22nd to raise public awareness of the historical beauty of the site and to inspire fundraising efforts. The New York Parks Department estimates it would cost $72 million to fully restore the pavilion grounds, including space for entertainment venues, businesses, and restaurants. The more exposure I feel uh, and more that the people see the beauty of the pavilion, as it is right now, it's a modern ruin, which is also beautiful in its own right. Uh, this will bring more exposure and more people to come in and maybe invest and say, you know what, this could never be demolished. Mm -hmm.